Welcome back. Well, did you know that Sycamore Canyon is the second largest canyon in the Arizona Red Rock country after Oak Creek Canyon? Whoa, go Sycamore. So there was a lot to cover for next, <laughs> next month's issue of Arizona Highways Magazine because it's so big. It's actually the second biggest canyon in the state. It is. Yeah, there's another one oh. a little farther north that's even bigger that Grand Canyon. Ah, but, that, uh, that old you know, thing. Other than that, yeah, this is a, and it's a sort of a little known treasure in our state. Yeah. So that's why we're featuring it. So we've got it on the cover. Yeah. And it's uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can see it right there. There it is. Right <laughs> yeah. behind you there. It's, it's stunning. So it says, a quiet place shrouded in mystery, romance, and mother nature. Yeah. You guys make it sound so, so like, why am I not there right now, <laughs> right? This is incredible. So we're really diving into the canyon, different areas of the canyon. Yeah, right? we take you in there, and, and it's we've got several features about the, the canyon. Um, we actually excerpted an old story from, from way back, and I love doing those stories because the, the, the language is so different. The, the, you know, the way they wrote in, you know, 50 yeah. or 60 years ago, it's much more flowery. But uh, so anyway, so yeah, we've got um, that, that story, and then mostly, you know, and that's why we're here is to show all the beautiful pictures. Yeah, Chris, you can go ahead and bring up these uh, pictures, go ahead and run through these. But I know you said uh, we're kind of taking a look at them in a lot of different angles. This. Yeah, this was from uh, uh, an ultralight, actually. Uh, flying over the canyon, you can get a sense that you know if you're ever flying back to, to, to through through Phoenix or to Tucson from sort of Seattle, you kind of fly right over this canyon, um, and and it's it's a little bit west of Flagstaff, but this is a a great aerial view of, of I that love beautiful that. canyon. And then I know our next photo, we have a, have some volcanic rock in this canyon. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. This is you know this is and within Sycamore Canyon, there are a lot of side canyons, and I think this one's called Isham Springs. Canyon and um, and it's 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 it looks like this and so there are hiking trails in there. Honestly, I think there are about 20 established trails. You can also get off the beaten path and do some backpacking in there as well. Now you said about hiking, so I mean I know it's a, a really popular uh, hiking destination, and we have Sycamore Creek, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of is that like a popular spot for people to go? Yeah, of all the trails um, in in the canyon, this one. Uh, has a has water all the time. Sycamore Creek runs through the entire canyon, but um, there's a spring sort of at the beginning of this this hike called Parsons Springs, and so this is a you know you see this. Wow! I just want like Who a kayak <laughs> and some Doritos. <laughs> what <laughs> going down that creek? Because you, you know, can't be too healthy. You got to balance. Well, you got to balance out all it's that, all about all balance, that <laughs> exercise. You'll learn the way. Uh, I did not see that coming. <laughs> Who oh, did? You guys, it's beautiful. I just want my two favorite things, nature and Doritos. Nature. Yeah. <laughs> it makes and, sense, you guys. Yeah, now, no. this next photo is actually a lovely view off the rim. Also a great place to eat Doritos. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't have to work as hard to get to this one. You can almost <laughs> drive to this one. This is a, a, a viewpoint that overlooks the canyon and um, a little bit closer in than that aerial shot that we saw. But you can see there's a lot of diversity in there. and. Um, and there are a lot of short hikes and a lot of long hikes. So, I mean, there's something in there kind of for everyone, but there's a scenic drive that comes uh, out to this point. There's a lot of history in there, prehistory, um, ancient ruins in, in there as well. So there's, there's a lot in there. And although, as you can see, it's a really beautiful place. So many people don't go there. Just to give you sort of a sense of where it is, it kind of runs from Cottonwood, which is near Jerome, up to Williams, which is west of Flagstaff. Oh. So you know the way a the way a bird flies, it's it's easy to see, but it's it's actually a very large large canyon. Well, I know you were talking about like ancient, you know, whatever. The next picture actually is the the ancient dwellings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, ancient peoples lived in there, and and why wouldn't they? It's a it's ancient a great <laughs> it's a great place to be, and and this is actually a place you can hike to. Um, you know, we get a lot of people that sort of slap us on the wrist a little bit for highlighting all these undiscovered places because they're afraid the masses will will converge and 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 you know what we like to think is that our readers are responsible enough that they're going to you know pack in what they you know pack out what they pack in and follow the 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 principles of leave no trace which basically means don't trash the place and so um don't leave your dorito bag do eat all the doritos <laughs> definitely not but i think it's important <laughs> I'm never going to hear that. And why? Right? Yeah, you shouldn't really. I mean, we're, we're, we live in this gorgeous state. I want to take advantage of seeing all these amazing yeah. places. That's why I love the magazine because oh, we you. get that insight. 
And, you know, this is somewhere I, I've never heard of. I'm from Tucson, and, and I would never have even known about it. So tell us, uh, again, exactly how far this is away from us. The well, from Tucson, if you were trying to get up to Cottonwood, it's, you know, it's probably a good three-hour drive. But to, to get to the southern end of the canyon, to go up to the northern end, it's, it's, it's quite a bit farther. But, um, and it's, it's a little confusing because we have a few different sycamore canyons in our state. Um, there's a lot of repeated names. We have a lot of names with de devil in them or hell right. and what have you, and Sycamore is one of those. But this is the big Sycamore Canyon. This is so, the real one. And we give, we actually have a really great map inside that our, we have a, a map maker in our, on our staff who, who, who did a map for us. So it kind of shows you the whole, yeah. the whole place. Well, I love this. I love that we get a sneak peek every month from you, Mr. Robert, Steve. We just Thank absolutely you. love having you on. It's a pleasure. And, uh, I'm going to make sure everybody knows how to get their own copy of Arizona Highways Magazine. Thank and where you. to buy the Doritos. <laughs> And I think they probably know where to get those. <laughs> you can get them both together. <laughs> yes, Stop. you can. Same checkout stand. <laughs> oh, can't wait to hear what Tina has to say on commercial break. <laughs> now, if you want to see even more of Arizona's beauty, who wouldn't? Make sure you subscribe to Arizona Highways Magazine. Just call 1-800-543-5432 or log on to ArizonaHighways.com.